Matt, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. Huge performance and a massive result. Yeah, I thought we were excellent from the, from the start of the game, from the kickoff. I thought we, uh, I thought we played really well. I think they had a goal against the runner play, really. Um, we switched off, allowed a runner, and they played around us um, a little bit of quality. But apart from that, I thought we were, we were, we were good at for, in, the, in the first half. Um, and then I think we just said a few things inside at half-time. I think we went from strength to strength and I thought we deserved to win. And you worked so hard for two well-taken goals, the first from Ollie O'Neill. Yeah, really well. I mean, we worked on something um, during the week and it nearly came off a few times in the first half. But it, one of the things was just shoot through bodies in, in, uh, at half-time. We said it um, and he'd done it and it's a great strike. I think it's crept in the far corner, shot through bodies, through a leg. Um, and it was just that probably that little moment we were missing in the first half where we'd done a lot of good stuff and we had chances to maybe have um, a bit of a better chance or a, a better opportunity of scoring. But in the second half, we took it um, with a great great, uh, great goal. And then, honestly, Monks, we, we spoke to him at half-time and just said, come on, take more chances, have more shots. And that's what happens when he does it. You know, we see it in training all the time and it's an unbelievable finish. And, and we all know Monks can do it. We just want to see it more. George Monker has looked so sharp since coming back into the team. Yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy. Probably... Um, we just said he hasn't he, he hasn't featured as much as he would have liked to or we, or we would have liked him to uh, to feature but that just shows what he can do he's fresh he's hungry I think he looks really confident um, and if you watch him in training all the time he takes people on he scores goals and we just want we want him to do that more he can do it uh, we all believe in him uh, so much to do it and today he's done it and it was a great moment at the end I thought with, with the crowd um, and it's a great uh, great goal and Sol Brin with two excellent saves in that second half. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, he's, he's been excellent for us, hasn't he, Sol? So, uh, really big uh, save from the header. Uh, great save. So, yeah, done his job. Brilliant. Six yellow cards and a third red for this season for Richie Weller. Yeah, I mean, I've got to be honest. We'd, we'd put the substitute card in fairly early. So, I think the guys run across Sol's path on the, on the kick and he's just grabbed it and we're looking to make a substitution at that moment we'd already asked to do it before that so seems a little harsh in all honesty because you know we were we were pretty certain of the substitution we wanted to make um, so it's a tricky one I thought the yellow cards for us in the game were were fairly harsh as well to be honest I think Oli just made a little bit of a kind of like a half half tackle in the, the first kick of the game and, uh, and he's got booked so I think that was harsh, but I mean, the gaffer's disappointed, obviously, and uh, it doesn't look great, but I think that one's a really harsh one. Both sides had penalty appeals in the uh, first half, and the O's looked particularly strong. Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously linked up to upstairs, and, and, and Charlie thought it was a, a red from up there, uh, a penalty from there. So, watching it again, I actually did as well. So, I don't think decisions probably went our way, but again, we found a way to win w- without those decisions. So, it's another, uh, another positive and another good thing for the players. I think they've got sh- tremendous belief and spirit at the moment and we just got, need to keep doing it. Did Ethan Gale both pick up an injury? Is that why he came off? Uh, I think it was just a calf, t- uh, a calf uh, like a tightness in there. So hopefully he'll be OK. Obviously, we've got another game Tuesday, so, so we're going to have to assess everyone. We've put a lot of energy into the game. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to have to see how everyone is. Blackpool also, like the O's, pushing for a playoff place and they beat Bolton, scoring four in the process today. Yeah, very good team. Uh, we know that, especially at home. So, look, we, we've just got to worry about ourselves, you know. We, we, uh, we obviously analyse every other team we're going to play, but we have a lot of belief and confidence in ourselves. And, you know, I think the group's a really tight group. I think the fans are fully behind us and, um, and there's a great connection. So we just need to keep going. Uh, we need to obviously be aware of teams like Blackpool and their players because they've got really good players but um, I think in a minute it's more about us and just keep continuing it continuing the spirit and the um, and the performances You've been here before how difficult and how much of an impact does it have when you haven't got Richie Wellens on the touchline? Well clearly I mean uh, since the gaffer has been here I think it's just been success uh, good performances um, and a hell of a lot of positivity and the players obviously respond to him so it's not, uh, it's not ideal, we know that, but it's down to us to, to do it. The, um, I think the players are well drilled enough, well drilled enough anyway to understand it. Um, obviously, I get the messages on down from him. I couldn't do that today, but um, in other games I do it. It's not, it's not ideal, it's not perfect, but we find a way. And I think our results, obviously Barnsley was, was um, disappointing, but the two games before that we won. 
So, um, yeah, look, it's not ideal, but we just get on with it and just, just keep going. Finally, over a 1,000 here, and they enjoyed the occasion, didn't they, those travelling fans? Yeah, it was brilliant. I mean, you could feel it as soon as we, we came out for the warm-up. Uh, for the warm up. And, yeah, it was brilliant. And I think that those, are the, those are the kind of moments after games you love. And, and I, as I said before, with, with Monks, you know, all singing his name. And um, it, just, it just feels like a real togetherness and spirit. And um, I'm sure for everyone connected, you guys, us, the crowd, everyone's happy.